Okay, so hear me out. You're a creative and you love creating. I'm a creative, I love creating. Last few months, I've been creating some cool stuff, but I feel like my learning curve has kind of plateaued a bit. And at this point, I feel creative burnout. I uh, decided I'd do something that a lot of people do with photography, and that is do a journey of black and white photography. I chose to do a whole month of black and white film photography and see what this would do for me, if it would spark anything new in my brain or if I could learn new skills from that and apply it to something else, which is uh, kind of what happens. So stay tuned for this video and find out. By the way, I have a lot of new people subscribed to the channel here. So uh, happy new year to everybody. My name's Tatsuki. Yeah, and I'm chilling in my living room with this beautiful new lamp that I got for my birthday. So with all stories, there is a start and this story starts with me trying to figure out how to load film into my new camera, which was the Nikon F2. Mm. So I just bought a new film camera and look what I got. I got myself a Nikon F2. Pretty nice camera. It's like really well built. So it's like quite heavy. The lens apparently is like really nice. And can you hear this? It's just really smooth and I can't get enough of it and I've actually got my first roll of black and white film that I want to shoot with it's Ilford HP5 I need to learn how to load this camera because I've never shot with a proper SLR film camera before so I need to look that up I think we're ready. <laughs> Let's go. Anyways, I headed out into the city on a very nice sunny day and tried to get some pictures with the new camera. shoot right now it's like I can really get into black and white when it comes to portraits but since we're just outdoors I'm kind of struggling to be honest I don't really know what to shoot but it looks really nice out here which is kind of frustrating because like I always say if I was shooting color it'd be a lot easier but yeah damn now, the most obvious thing about black and white photography is that everything is in black and white. Personally, I'm very drawn to colorful things. So having a lack of color in my images was, I don't know, it felt a little bit intimidating to be going on a whole month stretch of just shooting non-colored things. So the images are shown here are honestly my favorites from the role, but the majority of the images I took on the day were actually quite simple. There just seemed to be an overall lack of contrast and a bit of a cluttered feeling with all of the images. Not only this, but I was also drawn to the colourful surroundings and I think it kind of messed with my head a bit because I knew none of the colours would be captured. Now this might sound pretty obvious, but shooting black and white film is completely different from shooting colour film and converting it into black and white images. The whole shooting process, the experience, everything including the mindset is a little bit different. And with that in mind, I wanted to ask my friend who shoots black and white photography quite regularly, Mr. J Regular. And I wanted to hear his thoughts and opinions on this topic. If you do color theory, you'll know that there's, there's different types of color combinations, right? And when two colors are sitting next to each other, they look nice. But with black and white, you're more looking at tones. So an easy way to kind of get accustomed to how tones work, you take a color image and you just desaturate the entire thing. Colors of a certain hue will produce different shades of gray when you turn it to black and white. The brighter the color is, when you desaturate it, the whiter it becomes. And the darker the color is, the blacker it is. Understanding that makes it a lot easier to shoot black and white because black and white is a bit more versatile in terms of you don't need to have fantastic lighting in order to get a good shot yeah because you're working with color brightness rather than light brightness yeah. obviously if you have good light it's going to help a lot but it, it's not 100 percent necessary oh. 
So after that little chat with Jay, I decided I wanted to try shooting something that I felt a little bit more comfortable with because that first session I did with the street photography, I don't know, I haven't been doing that for a while, but I've been doing portrait photography a lot. So I decided I'm gonna invite my friend Gaprit over to the house and we were gonna shoot some portraits in black and white and try to apply what I learned with Jay into the photos, photos? Photos, and try to really get some nice pictures. And I think we did just that. Yo, dude. Good Let's go. You. Good yeah, you, Let's shoot some pics, brother. What's going on? You good? I'm over. Yeah, good. <laughs> Because we were shooting these portrait images at home, I wanted to create a bit of a story around the images. Something just along the lines of relaxing, we have plants, we have books, just lounging around in the living room. Three, two, one. Cool. You hear that? That felt nice. Yeah. Damn. I think that felt nice, while I was shooting these images, I realized that I wanted to keep everything as clean and minimal as possible. Because we're not shooting with color, I just wanted to keep everything sort of decluttered. A lot of the time I find color to be a really nice addition to an image, but I guess sometimes it can be a bit of a distraction. And for something where you want to tell a story or keep focus on the subject, I think black and white can really emphasize the story and draw out the emotion of the person. And these images are stunning. Hey, so this is a couple of weeks after that last section that I recorded, but while I was editing, I realized I was just rambling on a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna redo this whole section. So for the last couple of weeks of the photo challenge, I decided I was just gonna shoot a couple of more rolls on my everyday cameras. This being the Contax T2, as well as the Nikon F2. For this time, I had no plans. I was just shooting my everyday moments. And sometimes I did wish that I was shooting color film. Now, this is something that I always kind of feel like when I'm shooting black and white. Of course, for some of the moments, I thought that color film would be really nice. But now looking at the black and white photos, I really have no regrets at all. I'm sure the pictures would have looked nice in color, but black and white really just has a certain atmosphere around the pictures as well. Looking at these images, I realized that without thinking too hard, I was noticing all of these beautiful shapes of light and shadow and structure just in my everyday life. And I just feel like if I was shooting color, I probably wouldn't have seen the scene in the same way. Seen the scene in the same way? Whoa. Now I'm happy to say that I did complete the challenge that I set for myself and I've been left with a beautiful collection of black and white images. And now I just want to draw back to the start of the video where I mentioned that I had felt a plateau in my creative journey. I do feel like now that this plateau has eased off a bit and I'm starting to learn again. And if you're a creative, you know how wonderful this feeling is. So for many reasons, I'm definitely going to keep shooting black and white, implement it a lot more into my photography, and we'll see where this takes me in the next couple of months. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, thumbs up. I'm going to be trying to create a lot more content this year. Also, I'm going to Japan and Korea in a couple of months, so you can expect some really nice videos there. Yeah, so that's everything I want to say. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.